What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you're having a great Monday. We're going to call this Manic Monday because this is crazy. We got Derek Carr, who's a stiff, getting paid to go to New Orleans. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, it's kind of funny that a few years ago they had Teddy Bridgewater who looked really, really good for them. And actually, Jameis Winston, who uh, the last year of Sean Payton being there, had 14 TDs and three interceptions in seven games. Actually did not look real bad. But you know what? They'd rather go ahead and get Derek Carr. That's on them. Not my problem. My problem is the Dallas Cowboys. Now they've tagged Tony Pollard. And we have the Zeke situation. Best case scenario, the Dallas Cowboys will be spending, in essence, if they make Zeke Elliott a post-June 1st cut, which case they would save $11 million of his cap money. Um, we will still be spending almost $17 million on running backs. $17 million on running backs, which is about 7.5% of our salary cap. So mind you, that's with one of them not being on our roster. In an age where teams are not trying to pay running backs, teams are looking at this and they're jettisoning them. You have the Titans trying to get rid of Derrick Henry. You have the Giants trying to hopefully tag Barkley so they don't have to pay him. And we have a draft that is actually full of running backs. This is where the Cowboys are always going against the grain. The Cowboys believe that they know better than everybody else. That we know how to do this stuff. We've been here for a long time. And they constantly go against the grain of what works and what's proven. We stuck with Jason Garrett and the same offense for 10 years, believing that we could fit a square peg into a round hole. It didn't work. And now here it is. We're going to spend $10.8 million on Tony Pollard, when in essence, you could go through and take that $10.8 million and get yourself a great free agent and draft a running back. Am I crazy? But we have Jerry Jones talking about bringing back Zeke Elliott. Now, now Zeke was supposed to have his people determining his value at the combine. I haven't heard them come up with a number that they feel is good. Now, you could go to Zeke and say, well, Zeke, you know, when you were holding out in Cabo, we went above and beyond on the contract. We love you. We'd like to have you here. But right now, we're a little short on cash if we're going to try and make that run. Um, so we need to figure out a way that we can keep you but make you as friendly as possible. Because here's the reality. Here's what's crazy right now. If we keep Tony Pollard on the franchise tag, and quite frankly, I'd rather you be on the franchise tag because unfortunately running backs don't last for long. When the Cowboys have paid running backs big money, Marion Barber, who was a part-time running back, um, didn't work. You look at now Zeke Elliott. We paid him big money when he was at his peak. But Zeke Elliott wasn't the thing that drove us to getting a Super Bowl. So if Zeke Elliott, who was averaging like four and a half yards a carry, couldn't get us to a Super Bowl, what makes you think that a 3.8 yards per carry, Zeke Elliott, that's more expensive, is going to carry us to the Super Bowl? And this is where you look at the Cowboys and you hear them say, you know, it, 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 it's... 
it is Dak Prescott's fault. Dak Prescott's the reason why we're not winning Super Bowls. But you're making boneheaded mistakes. So you overpaid Zeke when you did his contract. You talk about holding on to him, and then you spend a whole bunch more money on Tony Pollard. Now, don't get me wrong. Tony Pollard is a great weapon. Love Tony Pollard. Love Zeke, too. But what I would really love, I would really love to have a Super Bowl. That's what I'd really love to have. And this is where I don't know if it's the Cowboys' mindset that we're not going to pay anybody or if it is that they they feel like the players are family. But sometimes the mistakes that we make are crazy. And my worry with Pollard is, A, when Zeke was hurt and he had to carry the ball a lot, you heard him basically say there's only X number of carries in a game for him. And... We're dealing with him coming off of a broken leg this year. And the year before, we were dealing with plantar fasciitis. Can he hold up? When you talk about $10 million, $10 million for one year, we've been there last year with a franchise tag with Dalton Schultz. Did we get the $10.8 million out of Dalton Schultz? Uh, I I can't say that we did. And we have holes that may be more pressing for me. Now, maybe I'm crazy, but I think you would have better results for your team instead of spending that much money. And at the moment, at the moment, we got $26 million tied up in running backs. I don't expect that to stay that way. But we got $26 million tied up at running backs. Wouldn't we be better served fixing the offensive line and having a great offensive line than spending all that money on running backs? Because if we have a great offensive line, then we're also doubling up. We're going to have some old holes open for the running backs to run through. And we will also, also be able to protect their quarterback. Kind of the way I would look at it. Um, I would kind of look at it as in, I need to protect my quarterback. $26 million. $26 million for running backs is way too much. That's my thoughts. I'll definitely be talking about this tonight. And um, we'll see where it goes. Wow. Wow. I'm flabbergasted.